This is something I'm interested in. Uh, you, you never had a um, a doll action figure with ECW, did you? I didn't. And they did take the pictures because we didn't have enough money to do the scans. Um, so they took a bunch of pictures of me. And then they said, uh, when the line came out, they said, we don't think the women dolls will sell or the women action figures. I get in trouble. I say doll all the time. Oh, I say doll um, with the fellas. Yeah, as well. I do too. Um, we don't think it'll sell. And so they didn't make the girls. Right. They didn't make the girls. And I, I got my first action figure uh, last year. Yeah, through, through um, big, yeah, I've, I've, figures toy I have company, seen it. Yeah. Um, so I'll go to uh, I'll go to sort of like what follows on to this is what were royalties like in ECW? I'm not asking for specific numbers or anything, but there was there was a couple of computer games. There was obviously merchandise, uh, pay per view residuals and stuff like that. How how much of your pay packet came from the merch and uh, royalties line? So I can say none, <laughs> <laughs> um, because with me, that $50,000 was a lot of things that were owed to me that were promised and I never got. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, every pay-per-view, we did 21 pay-per-views. I was supposed to get a $3,000 bonus. Never got it. I just got my nightly. Um, some people were on a weekly. I was on a nightly for whatever reason. Um, I was owed, I don't know if, if the video game stuff and the t-shirt stuff, but I really never got any bonuses while I was there. No. Did you, um, did you have any merch dedicated to you? Yeah, I had t-shirts and then we were allowed to sell our own like eight by tens. Hmm. So you can put out whatever you wanted on, the, you know, on the merchandise table and then they produced my t-shirts for me. Yeah, it wasn't like Smoky Mountain where you'd have to man the table yourself, was it? Well, we used to, um, oh, wow. we, we had, we had a girl named Bella. She would take care of everything. And then like, uh, sometimes we were allowed to run out during intermission and sell our stuff. Um, I know if I was with somebody that was injured, uh, usually it was either Shane or dreamer. They were injured a lot. We would do, that would be our thing. Cause we weren't on the show. So we would do the merch table and push the merchandise for Paul. Um, but we were always allowed to sell our own eight by tens and stuff which was nice because that was extra money yeah so uh, did you did you feel when you were sort of uh, manning the table or womaning the table yourself um did you feel like it sort of like took away from your aura a bit or i imagine you sold more when you were selling them yourself yeah um i you know when you do merch you you don't want the crowd to see you like until you walk through the curtain, so to speak. So when I would do merch, like I would try maybe not to wear the same outfit that I would when I was going to come out. So it would be something different um, just because you want that pop when you, when you come through the curtain. Yeah. But um, there, there were times when you couldn't go out because if you had a lot to do that night and people were going over stuff, then you had to stay in the back and go over your your match so mm. to speak um uh and then uh, of course if somebody was at the table that you were not supposed to be friends with you couldn't go there yeah. because your <laughs> arch and, and the enemy was there and stuff like that but i mean to me that was fair of paul to let us you know make a little money he also let us in the beginning we used to do polaroids in the ring oh yeah so we would come to the ring and we would have the fans come in and do polaroids and we'd split the money with him and just little extras but as far as like anything i was promised Mm -mm, I didn't no. get it. 